What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to go over five first half breakout players this season. Majority of these players were drafted very late or not drafted at all, making them huge sleepers and pretty important parts to your fantasy team. Before we start this video, let's hop over to our player of the day. In this segment, I'm going to ask you a random stat that's associated with the player, and in the comment section below, it is your job to figure out who that player is. The random stats today is, there are three players this season that have scored a penalty shot. Can you name any of the three, or even all of them? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Coming in as the first first half breakout player, we have Carter Verhage of the Florida Panthers. This may have been the biggest surprise out of any player on this list. The 2013 third round pick played his first full NHL season last year with the Lightning and scored 9 goals and 13 points in 52 games. These numbers are well below average across the league, yet the Florida Panthers seems like masterminds signing Verhage to a 2 year $2 million deal. He started the year off on the top line with superstar center Alexander Barkov and has sustained this role for the entire year. In 28 games so far, Verhage has 11 goals, 22 points, a plus 13 rating, and 65 shots. His time on ice saw a significant jump from 9 minutes and 22 seconds last season to over 17 minutes a night this season. The Panthers saw something in Verhage that literally no one else in the league saw, and they're reaping the benefits. His preseason rank on Yahoo was 508th, so in almost every draft, Verhage wasn't being taken and is now a staple on many rosters this season. So far this year, Verhage is dominating when he's on the ice. He holds a 59% Corsi 4 percentage, a 63% Goals 4 percentage, and a 66% High Danger Chances percentage. All of these stats are indicators that Verhage and the other players on the top line are controlling the play and are creating countless scoring chances when they're on the ice. The next first half breakout player is Connor Garland of the Arizona Coyotes. In Garland's second full season last year, he had his first sort of breakout, scoring 22 goals and 39 points in 68 games, adding 158 shots and 10 power play points. He did benefit from playing alongside Taylor Hall, a speedy winger that loves to shoot the puck. Now, majority of people who were aware of Garland thought that without Hall, he wouldn't really have much production. But similar to Verhage, Garland proved everyone wrong and he's had the best start to his season this year. In 27 games, Garland has 8 goals, 22 points, a plus 3 rating, 5 power play points, and 70 shots. His minutes have also increased pretty significantly, from just over 14 minutes per night last season to under 18 this season. His role was increased this season and he's taken full advantage of this opportunity. Garland has been very good when he's on the ice, holding a 59% Corsi 4 percentage, a 60% Goals 4 percentage, and a 63% High Danger Chances 4 percentage. The only downside to Garland right now, and this does draw back to his on-ice numbers, is how often he's moved from line to line throughout the season. The Garland-Keller-Schmaltz line was Arizona's most effective line by a lot, but they've been split up over the last few weeks and Garland has been all over the lineup up and down. Nevertheless, the speedy winger was ranked 390 on Yahoo preseason, meaning he was off of almost everyone's radar, but he's jumped into the spotlight and is now owned on 60% of Yahoo rosters. Up next, we have Nikolai Ehlers of the Winnipeg Jets. Now, Ehlers is a bit different than the previous two players in the sense that he was actually being drafted this year, but nowhere near where his production has been this season. Ehlers is in his sixth season with the Jets and has had a really good career so far. His best season coming last year where he scored 25 goals and 58 points in 71 games, adding a plus 14 rating and 203 shots. He was on pace for a 29-goal, 67-point season, assuming he played the remaining 11 games. Ehlers has continued his strong production into the 2021 season. In his first 28 games, he has 14 goals, 29 points, a plus-9 rating, 7 power play points, and 87 shots. These are fantastic numbers across the board, and his production has been consistent throughout the whole season thus far. To my surprise, Ehlers has had this unreal production while playing less than 17 minutes per night and it would be really interesting to see how he would produce it if his minutes were up at around the 20 minute mark. But beggars can't be choosers, and Ehlers has played majority of the season on the second line and the second power play unit, where it's obvious that that's where he's at his best. Ehlers' ADP on Yahoo was 152 before the season, and he's now on 92% of rosters. For those of you who drafted Ehlers that late, hopefully he can be a mainstay in pushing your team to the top this season. Coming in at number 4, we have Jacob Chikrin of the Arizona Coyotes. The 2016-16th overall pick was a pretty highly touted prospect for the Coyotes, 
and is now in his fifth season with them. Chikorin was solid last season, scoring 12 goals, 26 points, adding 8 power play points, 150 shots, 95 blocks, and 75 hits. He added to every category, and the only sort of thing that was slacking was his point production. Luckily for Chicker in this season, he was a beneficiary of an Oliver ekman Larson injury that bumped him up to the top parent and the top power play unit. So far this season in 28 games, Chicker has 7 goals, 19 points, 7 power play points, 73 shots, 44 blocks, and 34 hits. Again, similar to last season, Chikorin is hitting every category, but this year he's added some significant point production. His 165 shot attempts this season is enough to rank him 15th in the league and 4th amongst defensemen behind only Tyson Berry, Dougie Hamilton, and Roman Yossi. If Chikorin could continue to sustain over 23 minutes time on ice per night that we've seen this season, as well as his role in the top power play unit, we can expect him to be one of the better second half defensemen for the rest of the season. But this is only a first half breakout video and Chikorin's 166 ADP preseason and only a 12% draft percentage justifies that he was completely overlooked this fantasy season and he's now an integral part of many winning fantasy teams. The final first half breakout player is Sam Girard of the Colorado Avalanche. Girard was a huge surprise to me this season. The Colorado decor is stacked with talent, and I truly thought Girard would be overshadowed by all of the other big names. But, similar to everyone else, Girard proved many people wrong and has become a staple on the Avalanche back end. Last season in 70 games, Girard had 34 points, including 13 on the power play, 96 shots, and 92 blocks. Girard played just over 21 minutes per night last season, playing on the second pairing and the second power play unit. His role this year is very similar but his responsibility has increased a little bit, and this is justified by his average time on ice surpassing the 23-minute mark this season. In 24 games this year, Gerard has 19 points, 8 on the power play, 42 shots, and 24 blocks. His block numbers are down from last year, but his point production has increased, and this is no surprise when you have a 5'10", 170-pound defenseman. I know, I know, I know. Gerard has benefited from Makar's recent absence, but prior to his injury, Gerard was still playing really well. If Makar remains out for a longer period of time, Gerard's value is only going to continue to skyrocket this season. His ADP was 168 and he was only drafted by 44% of teams on Yahoo. He's now being rostered by over 75% of teams on Yahoo and we can expect this number to increase as the season progresses. That'll do it for our first half breakout players video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you haven't already, click the link in our description and join our Discord. The Fantasy Puck community is growing and we want all of you to be part of it. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.